Oh yeah, it's doing a thing. What's up guys? Look at this. This is Passion Fruit. He's a skunk. So, we got this trash situation over here and stuff kept pulling out the trash. So I thought that there was a freaking raccoon and I wanted to catch the raccoon just to see what it was. But it turns out that it was actually a skunk. And we have not yet been sprayed despite despite the fact that everyone freaks out about the fact that it's a skunk. And like, at this point, as you can see, the skunk actually has the ability to escape. He just has to kind of make that little jump there, which he can do, he's fine. But he's pretty chill. This is Lucas, by the way. Hi. What's up? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep fo- uh oh, uh oh, shit. Whoa, that was- Sorry, I think- So, we don't know what gender. But it's possible that I, I just got I just got skunks his. Skunks are not sexually dimorphic. Yeah, yeah. We learned that skunks are uh, so in many species of animals, the male is different than the female. This is true in humans and most animals, but in skunks it's not true. Aside from their genitalia, there's no like visual cue. There's not a body size difference or like a marking difference to distinguish male skunks from female skunks. You can just look and figure out what gender they are by looking at their, you know, actual genitalia. I haven't had the courage to do that yet, but honestly, the skunk is much more comfortable with us now. So originally the cage was right here. And then we just put it on this table. Is there any coffee out here? Is there any coffee out here? Uh, no. Uh, right so... It's possible that this skunk lives under the staircase. Or he lives out there, because there's like some so, woods and stuff. Eric says that, Eric says that they, uh, they're nomadic, so they go through a few places uh, like during each week. Huh. Which makes sense. Dude, what if Eric's convinced that his cat is going to get eaten by a fox? What if we caught a fox in this trap? That'd be crazy. You wouldn't do it with peanut butter, you'd have to do it with chicken. Yeah. Uh, if we set it up... Somewhere in the woods, though, I think that's gonna be our best bet. We just have to make sure to check it every day so that if something's there, we can eat it. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, he's pretty chill. So we've learned he doesn't like quick movement. If you move quickly, he does this kind of sudden movement where he shows you his butt. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. Like that movement. That movement's real scary. Yeah, it is kind of nerve wracking. He basically, ate a lot of peanut butter. If you, if you sit down, you're basically safe. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're not actively moving, you're, it's super, super. Yeah, Jack's, Jack's playing with fire right now. No, I feel, I feel comfortable. Because I, I can look at the screen and see from... Uh-oh, he's definitely backing away from me now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, see, really I want... Because you're way more comfortable holding the phone really close to him than you are Meet my eyes, yeah, yeah. So, he can get out. Oh, I feel bad. Now he's like, oh. his body language was different earlier. Well, he seemed excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yep. He also has started to figure out the end. He, he knows the end of the game. He's held back only by himself. Come on, passion fruit. You want to be great? Yeah, we propped the trap open with the bottle so he can just leave. So, he ate so much peanut butter that he, like, shot out pe a peanut buttery poo. And what looked like a peanut buttery puke, but now I understand that if you just ingest straight peanut butter, I mean, a lot of things will look like puke at that point. I mean, it's just pure peanut butter. He's also a skunk who's never, you know, well, he was he was fucking with the trash. That's how this all started. His eyes so. are so cute. Maybe he loves peanut butter. Yeah, that's true. Skunks can eat a lot of things. Yeah, Basically you can, anything. You can, get, you can get skunks de-sacked. Keep them as pets. That's insane. Yeah, I would totally do that. Especially because Eric would hate it. <laughs> 
but it's so much more interesting because of the fact that he could spray us. Like this yeah, but I animal. Be comfortable keeping it in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. See, now he's fine. He's back to his like whatever. I'm just trying to explore, and I uh, I don't know, maybe yeah. trying to get out of whatever this thing is. Yeah. He doesn't seem fully aware he's in a cage because he'll keep trying to like walk and then kind of well, spin in his direction. Just, uh, he, he, he understands that he's been given less mobility, but he's been given infinite peanut butter. Infinite peanut butter, that's a good trade. Yeah, he's a big fan of that trade. So, he's living, he's enjoying that trade until he wants to see his family again. And then he's going to come back to them and be like, guys, I saw giants. I really like that your phone doesn't stop recording when somebody calls. Who's somebody calling? just called you. I should have told you that. Okay. I don't know. It was a number that isn't saved. Did it start with 726? No, 703. Yeah, no, no, no. And then 703, 726? No idea. We didn't check that far. No. <laughs> I thought, actually, that the skunk would escape for the video because when we first opened the cage he was he like he understood that we opened the cage not immediately but quickly yeah yeah he was he was he was affected by that he was like oh my god but now he's just like okay yeah he's decided that the the, the fact that he's on the table means that he's still in a cage but one day I feel like we should make it easier for him I just want to see what he does if he's actually next to us and free and can just leave. Because he can just go out there. So, the thing is, I'm not sure if we move the actual cage right now, the, the, the door might shut again, which would scare him a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And moving the cage is pretty precarious to begin with. I just want him to... to escape. We moved the cage from over there earlier. He's like... Probably like hung over. Hung over? Yeah, yeah. Is peanut butter the equivalent of alcohol? No, no, he's just. Did he just lay down? He did. No way. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> he stood back up there. Yeah, he did. I think I freaked him out. I said, well, what? I don't think the table's very comfortable. No, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. I just want him to. Oh, poor dude. See, don't be mad at skunks. He has had so many opportunities to spray us, but he hasn't. Join our skunk advocacy group. So. Yeah. Skag. <laughs> hey, little dude. Come on, I like his claws. He's, he's, he's got more of. He's got more use of his individual fingers than dogs or cats, but not as much as raccoons. Yeah, raccoon hands look crazy. Yeah, we saw a lot of raccoon videos yesterday. Yeah, we really. Well, it definitely. I was. Were you surprised this was a skunk? Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. I definitely thought it was a raccoon too. And I've seen I've seen the skunks back here. I just never thought about that they go through trash. Yeah, it's two stereotypes, man. It's crazy. the The one stereotype we're embracing here is the fact that this skunk hasn't effed us up yet. Yeah, no, I'm really happy about that. I like these skunk hunts. Yeah, the skunk's pretty chill. Yeah, we're throwing away the clothes if, if you spread this, okay? <laughs> They're gonna fuck up the dry or the washer and the dryer way more than the clothes are actually worth. I've been through this. Oh before. man, it's like an infection. One clothes in the dryer, and then all your clothes have a slight skunky after yeah, no, no, no. after that's, birth. That's, what, that's where I fucked up the first time when Lucy got sprayed. I like being able to get this close to him, he's cute. He is really cute. He just seems so curious. Yeah. I like his curiosity. 
Oh, he laid down. He could be going free, but he's just chilling. Well, it's, it's like midnight, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was getting at by him being hungover. Because it's like not his midnight. It's like his seven in the morning. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Kind of yeah, exactly. Well, it's like noon. Yeah, but he's been... Okay, it's been daylight since, like, 7 a.m. And what time is it now? I don't know. You have the phone. Oh, yeah, I do. It's, like, 1? Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. No, it's probably not that late. It's, like, 12. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, so it's he's only been, like, 5 or 6 hours into when he would be asleep. I feel like he's just 12 hours ahead of us, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Makes sense if he gets up at night. Do you think a skunk sleeps in one predictable sleep pattern, or if it take? Do they take naps? Do you take naps, buddy? People don't even sleep in one predictable sleep pattern. That's synthetic. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, it's probably pretty chaotic. Skunk life. Skunks can eat pretty much anything. It's pretty crazy. We were looking at the things that they can eat, and it was like fruits, vegetables, meats, ants, bugs, nuts. Berries. Everything. Everything, yeah. The list was like an essay. He does like peanut butter. Maybe not anymore, though. Well, I almost just fell into the cage. That would have been bad. Be free, skunky buddy! I don't know how to incentivize you, because you're full on peanut butter. You don't want any shepherd's pie. Food probably isn't the way to incentivize him, but fear gives me more fear than him. What if, what if I just move the cage and put it on that ledge? If you want to move the cage, you're welcome to. Be careful of that bottle, because that, uh... Yeah. But, um, I'll, I'll record you. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, he's doing the Archie thing. Oh, stay away from the Archie thing. You just gotta give him a minute. It's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, man, I'm right in the spray zone. The towel's right over there. I recommend supporting the door. Uh, I think this one. Okay. Fucking spoon's gonna move. Oh shit! Oh. <gasps> ah, we got freedom! Holy shit! That's great. Yeah. Alright, well. <laughs> you just in the corner. Yeah. You shouldn't go towards the corner, Jack. It really seems like it's just a normal day for him. Yeah. Just, you know, there's a little bit of stress, but he's safe now. Is there, like, a tunnel there? I don't know. I, I don't see him anymore. Oh, he's there. He's there still? Yeah. Okay, okay, what if... If I put, if I arm this trap again and put the peanut butter back in it, and I put it back in the same spot, do you think that he's gonna... Let's try it! That'd be fun. I don't, I don't think he will now, but, like, tomorrow, maybe. 
Is this just going to become part of his daily routine? I hope so. <laughs> Well, his name is Passion Fruit. Yep. Whoa. Do you think that we could get him to a point where we could put a tag on him? Uh, I don't know. I feel I like we can first. definitely, the way that he behaves, I think we can definitely get him to a point where we, he'll eat out of our hands. That's how fun he is, right? Well, he's got peanut butter. Yeah. It's a good thing. Makes sense. Sweet. Now, we wait, and we wish Passion Fruit the best of luck. Yeah. Good luck, Passion Fruit. Ciao.